Hi everyone, this is Madam Leung. Meet you again in this video session. I'm glad to be here to demonstrate to you the proper way to carry out the experiment for. The title of this experiment is Rotational Motion of a Rigid Body. The learning outcome of this experiment is to determine the moment of inertia of a flywheel. The apparatus for setting up this experiment are a flywheel, a set of slotted mass, a stopwatch, a meter rule, a G clamp, a piece of inelastic string to hang the mass to the flywheel, a piece of softboard, and a vernier calipers. Procedure 1. Set up the apparatus according to the given diagram below. Place the flywheel at the edge of the table, then fix the position by using a G-clamp. Procedure 2. Measure the diameter of the flywheel using a vernier calipers and calculate its radius r. Record both values d and r in the jotter section. Before using the vernier calipers to measure the diameter of the axle of the flywheel, please check for any zero error. Make sure the jaws of the vernier calipers are fully closed. Since the two zero marks on the main scale and on the vernier scale coincide to each other, this vernier calipers does not have zero error. Then we use it to measure the diameter of the axle. Make sure the jaws are clamped on the same track. Then we tighten the screw to fix the position of the jaws. Then only we take the reading of the diameter of the axle. To take the reading of the diameter of the axle of the flywheel, please refer to this red arrow that pointing on this line on the main scale. This line is the nearest line to and before the zero mark on the vernier scale. Therefore, the reading of the main scale is 43 mm. Then we refer to this red arrow pointing at this line on the vernier scale. This line coincides with this line on the main scale. Therefore, the reading of the vernier scale is 0 0.46 mm. The diameter of the axle of the flywheel is the sum of the reading of the main scale and the reading of the vernier scale. So, 43 mm plus 0.46 mm give us the diameter of the axle as 43.46 mm and the uncertainty of the vernier calipers is 0 0.02. The radius of the axle can be obtained using, using this formula, half of the diameter. Therefore, the radius of the axle is 21.73 mm. Cut a piece of inelastic string to an adequate length. Then, tie one end of the string to the screw attached to the axle of the flywheel and the other end to the hook of the hanging slotted mass. The length of the string must be able to let the hanging slotted mass to reach the surface of the softboard when it is released from a certain height. Place a piece of softboard right below the hanging slotted mass to protect it from direct hitting the ground when landed. Wound the string around the axle of the flywheel 
and follow the tracks. The rotating top of the flywheel produced by the tension in the string must be great enough to overcome the frictional top in the flywheel. Then only the hanging slotted mass will accelerate downwards when it is released from a certain height. Therefore, we have to keep on adding the slotted mass to the hook until it can accelerate downwards. Then only we start recording the falling slotted mass M in the data table. Do not record the mass of the falling slotted mass if it is not moving down or moving down with a constant speed when it is released from a certain height. Please watch this video. The slotted mass moving downwards with a constant speed. Please watch again. Start recording the falling slotted mass if it accelerates downwards when released from a certain height. Please watch this video. The slotted mass is speeding downwards. Please watch again. Choose a fixed point at the height H above the soft board. Then position your eyes perpendicular to the marking on the meter rule and take the reading. Record the value of H in the jotter section. Procedure 5. Release the slotted mass from the height H after the string has been wound around the axle of the flywheel. Once the slotted mass is released, start the stopwatch simultaneously. Procedure 6. Record the time T for the slotted mass to reach the soft board. Please watch this video. Please watch again. For the hanging slotted mass of 140 gram, when we release it from the height of 70.5 cm, the time shown by the stopwatch is 2.75 seconds. Procedure 7. Calculate the values of the linear acceleration A, the tension in the string T, and the angular acceleration alpha using equations 4.5, 4.1, and 4.6 respectively. Procedure 8, repeat steps 3 to 7 for at least 6 different values of falling slotted mass M. Tabulate your results in the jotter section. Make sure the data table is complete before you leave the lab. Last but not the least, remember to watch the next upcoming video to guide you in the lab report writing for the experiment 4. That's the end of this video session. Thank you for your patience and good day.